Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ, and anybody else who comes along and sees this particular video. And I'm going to have to be very careful about how I say this. Today is Thursday, June the 11th, and it's 5.49 p.m. I was checking my email, and there was a video link in it that said, you're the only one I can send this to because nobody else will believe it. And she's probably right. Um, a whole lot of people wouldn't believe it. Although it's been going on since at least the Obama administration. I've been seeing videos of people doing what these people are doing. We know... That Jesus said that when he comes for us, it will be just as in the... Jasper, if you need to pot, there you go. That's where you potty. That's right. This is very important. You have to be a good boy. Go potty over there. Okay. Okay. Okay, um, I've been on here since like 2012. And I learned pretty much right off the bat. Gosh, how do I say this? I don't want to get another video removed. Um, things are not always what they seem. All right. Big, big things that have happened. We know that there's weather warfare that they put chemtrails up. I guess I could say that. We know that. We're not stupid. And then you can see the lines that they put in the chemtrails to make them do something, whatever. It's all weather warfare. Even China admits they can make it be perfectly beautiful when somebody big that has the money wants to have a wedding outdoors. They make sure it's not going to rain. We can do that. They can do it, not me. Okay. When I put the video up that I said I didn't want... Um, I... I I couldn't handle so many videos in my emails, and I said, I do not want to hear any more. I do not want any more videos from George Flo about George Floyd. And some of you might have wondered why, and maybe you didn't, but, you know, I, I did not mean to hurt anybody's feelings. But I know in my gut, the whole thing was more acting. Um, we all know, and I don't think that YouTube can dispute this, that sometimes crisis actors are hired to play parts. And they do it very well. Would we not all agree? And sometimes they don't do it. Where are you? Go potty over there. I know what he's doing. He's going to try to do it under that chair. You go over there. Go over there, Jasper. You go over there. He knows. He's like a stubborn two-year-old. Okay. What I'm trying to say is the so-called family of this man that got on the news and told her, you know, how they felt and the, the firing of the four police officers to them was not enough. That they wanted to, you know, they wanted to see more done. Well, look where it has led. Okay, look, look at all the damage. Now, 
I hope that you all realize that there have been the peaceful demonstrators and then there have been the groups, the groups that are bussed in to these big cities funded by George Soros. Many have said it. I'm not just saying it, although I knew it in my heart. I already knew it. That's just his, his M.O., his modus operandi, or however you say it. That's what he does. Okay. This channel, let me tell you the name of it, has put up a video. And I do not know this person. It's Chloe blowing the trumpet. All right. Her, she said, shocking and 100% real. Please click like to spread the truth. No apps, no editing, no camera glitches, no Photoshop. Deception, deception everywhere. Give your life to Jesus Christ. The title of this video is Read Between the Lines, comma, Shapeshifters, comma, Deception, comma, George Floyd Family, comma, Censorship Cover-Up. Now, I don't know, um... fixing to say Lord Jesus help me my dog is being very distracting right now and I don't need that okay I I don't let's see if she says where she got this all right original link much better if you view on computer screen Okay, so she gives a link as to where she got it. And then she says, repent, the day of the Lord is at hand. And gives some scriptures. Jesus commands repentance and more scriptures. Okay, so she is trying to tell you the truth, it sounds like to me. And I believe this 100 percent many of you are going to say no no they used some some program to pixelate their faces well you can believe that if you want but i've been seeing this happening like i said since the obama administration people in his administration himself is not sure about Michelle oh I mean Michael well I guess I should say Michelle if she's going to try to run for president we need to pretend she's a woman okay anyway the point is there have been shapeshifters I started to say Jesus said just as in the days of Noah there will be eating and drinking Marrying and giving in marriage, yes, all that at the time that he comes. But what else was going on in the days of Noah? The Nephilim were on the earth and also after. It's what the Bible says. I'll look up that scripture and I'll put it, um, well, I can look it up right now. Let's see, I gotta go to Google. I, I know, I'm pretty, I, I think I know where it is, but this is easier. Let's see. I think this is right. And in those days, there were, oh, this is calling them giants. There were giants in those days and after. That's the verse I want. They're calling them giants. 
but in the King James Version, well, what, what in the world? They, they called them Nephilim. Here it says, Genesis 6, 4. That's what I thought it was, Genesis 6, verse 4. There were giants in the earth in those days and also after that when the sons of God came into unto the daughters of men and they bare children to them, and I know what it's going to say, the Nephilim, let's see, what's it say? No, the same became mighty men which were of old men of renown. Well, that's supposed to say Nephilim. That's the King James Version. Now, that really surprises me. Let me look up the NASB because that's how I remember it. Boy, there's a lot of versions on here. C-E-B, that's, I don't even know what that is. The Darby, let's try the Darby. Nope, they say giants also. The point is, um, when the angels, the fallen angels, there were 200 of them that agreed to come down to earth to mate with women. And they did. And so then what happened? They produced, they produced the Nephilim. And they are on the earth today, mostly working underground. And the dark, what do we call them? The, the um, shadow government works with them. Oh my goodness, Jasper. Okay, so... Um, this will show you what I'm talking about. If you want to see it, they've got it slowed down. Well, first it's kind of faster and then it's slower and, and there's two different videos involved. So you take a look and see what you think. I believe they found this family to be his family. This, these Nephilim workers they got to be his family. And they can take the form of any kind of body they want, I believe. That's just my belief. It doesn't matter if they can or not. But this is, you talk about proof that we're in the end of the end days. This is one of them. And I'm just going to say I plead the blood of Jesus over this video and over myself and over my channel, my internet connection, and my computer. And I plead the blood of Jesus over each and every one of you and your devices and your internet connections. And I just pray that you will all realize this is going on. There are Nephilim working behind the scenes and they are very much part of our shadow government working for Satan all right, you know since Noah's day since they came down and made it with women the fallen angels I mean who knows if they're down here also because they're immortal angels are immortal okay well I'll leave it go at that and it's only 5 minutes, 46 seconds. Be blessed this day and stay ready because surely our redemption draws nigh. Bye for now. I'll talk to you later.